Okay, so reverse transcriptase is one of the enzymes involved in genetic engineering. Now what fact this exploits it is that if you look at you um, and if you look at every one of your cells, each one of your cells has two copies of every gene because you've got two copies from each parent because you have you know, one copy from each parent and you have two parents because you are a 2N organism made of 23 chromosomes from one parent which came with 23 chromosomes from the other parent so you have two copies of everything yeah. so if for instance you went to look for your insulin gene then every single one of your cells has two copies of the insulin gene now if you want to one way of finding the gene is not to look for the DNA not, what do you mean? Well, not to look for the DNA. And we're going to look at exactly what's ha going to happen here. So if you want to find the gene for insulin, a sensible way to go about it is to go to the area where the insulin is being made, which is in the pancreas. So you go to the cells of the islet laying hands in the pancreas, um, and those cells have exactly the same amount of DNA for insulin as does any other cell in your body. Okay. which is that they have two copies, one from each parent. But cells that are um, extremely active in producing a particular protein, well, those two copies will be in the nucleus, and then you'll have lots and lots of ribosomes, and those ribosomes will have copies of the mRNA of that gene. Because remember, DNA is copied into mRNA and that process is called transcription. Okay. Yeah, so transcription. Yeah. So that's just mRNA copied. Okay, so DNA is transcri transcribed into mRNA and that occurs in the nucleus, doesn't it? Yeah. And in the nucleus you have the DNA, and that's copied into RNA by the enzyme RNA polymerase, which makes polymers oh, yeah, yeah. out of RNA. Yeah. So you go DNA to mRNA. Yeah. The mRNA then goes to a ribosome, and it sits, you know, the ribosome, large subunit, small subunit, and in comes the tRNA, and the tRNA has amino acids attached to it, and those amino acids run, run along, sorry, the tRNA comes in, and then it, it, this moves, you know, and you join them all together in a peptide bond yeah. to make um, your protein. Yeah. Remember it goes DNA, RNA, the RNA gets translated to produce a sequence of amino acids. Well, reverse transcriptase is an enzyme that does exactly what it says. It reverses transcription. Okay. Transcription, remember, is going from DNA into a sequence of mRNA. Yeah. Now, reverse transcriptase is an enzyme produced by viruses which infect bacteria and humans with RNA instead of DNA. Okay. So after they've introduced the RNA, the first thing they do is they turn that RNA into DNA. Okay. And then they can use that to exploit the machinery of the host cell to make more virus particles. Okay. Now the enzyme reverse transcriptase is what's responsible for going from mRNA to DNA. Now, if you had an mRNA sequence of, for instance, um, A, U, U, G, C, well, if you applied reverse transcriptase, then you could reverse the transcription and you would produce from that T A A C G. And that is by applying your reverse transcriptase enzyme. Now this obviously is single-stranded DNA. Yeah, DNA so to make it into something useful, we need to make it into double-stranded DNA. And by using double-stranded DNA, what we do then is we apply the enzyme that we use in semi-conservative replication, which takes a single strand and turns it into double strand. And that enzyme is called DNA polymer 
DNAs because it makes polymers out of DNA, yeah. DNA yeah. nucleotides. And that's going to bring in the complementary nucleotides here, which will then form hydrogen bonds, and then you've got double-stranded DNA. Yeah. So the reverse transcriptase has enabled you to go to where there is lots of the mRNA that's being used to make the protein that you're interested in getting the gene for. Yeah. Having done that, you then extract some of the tissue, knowing that in that tissue there'll be a lot of copies of the mRNA for the protein that you want the gene for. Yeah. Having taken that mRNA, you apply reverse transcriptase, and reverse transcriptase will go from the mRNA that you've extracted to produce a single-stranded DNA copy. If you then apply DNA polymerase, it will turn that single-stranded DNA into double-stranded DNA, yeah. which you can then use for genetic engineering.